in my video on to tableauinfo.com uh, nice to see you or i must say at least you can see me <laughs> so what we have today so today i have five points for you to keep in mind during tableau desktop qualification examination the first one is yeah you can make use of google so yes you can make use of google and when i say you can make use of google so it will be helpful for you to crack some of the questions over there for sure especially one mark questions you know what i mean you will have more than one sheet to analyze so per store is not the only core so let me show you so you might have seen that there is one more data source so over there that is world indicators so apart from these two there will be few more and apart from apart from the data sources you may have uh, twbx files as well so you may have questions based upon the twbx file so be ready for that as well don't get lost with the same sheet and filters and joins you might you might get into a situation where you might get confused right so what i mean to say is you have a question first question that is based upon sample super store and you did your analysis and you needed to do some sort of join over there that's fine and you had order id and you did something like count the that's fine you have another question and by the time you reach another question maybe it won't click you that your data source is already join that to and in a join so you start doing analysis based upon a question which it does not require join so instead so actually the data source is like this but here you cannot make it out right so now what we can do is we can rename it to in a join so it's already there no problem so that you remember that okay this is an inner join and that will help you to go again add a new data source again so there is no hard and fast rule you can have multiple data sources over there so you can uh, keep the inner join data source intact and separate so that again if you want to revise your question you can come back again and you can act on that very data source otherwise you, if you have not been able to get the answer again you will come back again you will in, do in, to the inner join don't do that don't waste your time on a single question sometimes we tend to get emotional okay why this answer is not coming it's okay it's not coming just leave it if you have given if you have already given some time to that question just leave that there is an option to flag that question so that when you come back after round 1 you can go to that question and again you can try and hopefully you'll get the answer take screenshot for any doubt yeah th this is a, this is an important one i have seen a uh, few of the folks who got benefited out of this you know so during the day of your examination you are giving your examination in windows machine so there can be connectivity issue first of all i would really suggest you to make use of uh, office network there you may get good connectivity so make use of office network you know during weekend or so the other thing is that maybe sometime if uh, there is a proctor and there is a company separate company uh, which is taking care of all these examination so that is not tapro software company but there is a vendor so if there is a mistake for example a data source is missing from the folder the question is saying that okay data source is there but it is not there take a screenshot of that and send your email to the tableau software department the, uh, that proctor can give you that email stating that you may get some marks if your concern is genuine i have seen folks getting marks for that but your concern should be genuine last but not the least uh that is not there at my blog but then 
it's not all about the, the way you are getting the answer but it's all about uh, how fast you are so for example if you see I have one question from a tableau QA examination guide question number 10 uh, where you need to get the profit ratio of a customer who is having the least profit so there is a way here that is given you can see so first of all they have uh, they are sorting in descending order ascending order with respect to profit and after that they are creating a calculation profit ratio that is sum of profit profit upon sum of sales and after that they are dragging it to to the label so you can do this in multiple ways for example i would do it like this customer name no join as such or maybe I can make use of this worksheet I'll go back and I'll check that there is um, there's no inner join for this okay and now I will drag profit I'll sort look that is a problem so this is a good example so don't go back to inner join I am going back because I want to show you the answer but you, you don't need to do that so inner join Check the data source again. Go to sheet 10 and again. And drag the customer name. Drag the profit. Maybe like this, like this. Why I'm giving me again? Why I'm getting from this? Okay, got it. I need to make use of this one. this one so I will show you so there is a separate sample server store for this examination guide customer name now I get the I got the customer name so so there is a separate data source for the uh, examination guide so I got the customer name so I'll do keep only and after that instead of creating a new calculation I can just I'm removing the traditional one instead of creating a new calculation I can just calculate here itself it was not there earlier but in the older version but now you can do it Here you go. I got the answer minus seven seven one. So I got the answer within two steps itself, right? So it's not all about the way, but it's all about the amount of time you are taking to get the answer. So I think I'm done with the suggestions. Again, if you like this channel, if you want to see more videos with respect to certifications. Tablet server and tablet desktop. Do subscribe to my channel. Till then, bye bye from my side. My first video. Video as in I am there. Not first video. I am there in the video. Okay, see you. Bye.